Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. Today we're going to talk about the places that you are allowed to use PVC conduit. And we're talking about Schedule 40 and Schedule 80. Now there are other types of conduit that are made up of polyvinyl chloride, but we're talking specifically today about rigid PVC. So we're talking about rigid PVC like Schedule 40 and Schedule 80. And today we're going to be in 352.10. Anytime you're dealing with a conduit or a wire, I don't know if you know this, but there is a specific section for most conduits and wire types in the NEC in Chapter 3. So 334 is Romex, and so on and so forth. With that being said, today we're in 352.10. And the reason we're in the .10 section is because if you have a pipe or a wire code article, the .10 section is going to be where the uses permitted are listed. On Monday, we're going to learn about the dot 12 sections, which are the uses not permitted. So remember, dot 10 is uses permitted when you're dealing with conduits and types of wire. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So PVC conduit is a super versatile type of conduit that can be used almost anywhere. It does have a few limitations, and those are listed in the dot 12 sections. I'll always work with your electrical inspector to make sure it's code compliant and always double check your code book to make sure it's okay. But uh, let's start out with uh, 252 or 352.10. A, and it says concealed. PVC conduit shall be permitted to be concealed in walls, floors, and ceilings. Part B says corrosive influences. PVC shall be permitted to be installed in locations that are subject to severe corrosive influences. So this, you're going to have to work with each installation depending on what you know type area you're in, but it's allowed to be in all different types of corrosive areas. It's also allowed to be installed around cinders. It's allowed to be installed in wet locations. So, you know, that's a defined term, but it's allowed to be installed in wet locations. It says PVC conduit shall be permitted in portions of dairies, laundries, canneries, laundries, I hope I said that correct. That's a different word. Canneries and other wet locations. So it's installed to be allowed in those type places. It's allowed to be installed in dry and damp locations except that are not prohibited in 352.12, which we're going to learn about on Monday. It's allowed to be exposed. PVC conduit shall be exposed. It shall be exposed in areas of physical damage as long as it's identified for the use. So you can use it in areas that are subject to physical damage. Now you're going to have to work that out with your inspector on what they you know deem is appropriate. It's also good for underground installations. You can use uh, PVC in underground. You can also use it encased in concrete. So you can really use this conduit anywhere. You're allowed to use it for the support of conduit bodies, which are LBs and uh, LLs and LRs and C bodies and all of these different things. You're also allowed to run conductors inside of it that are of a higher temperature rating as long as the temperature rating doesn't exceed that of the PVC itself. And that's going to wrap it up for today. So just to recap, you're allowed to install inside, outside, in concrete, not in concrete, dry locations, wet locations, where it's subject to physical damage, in corrosive locations. You're also allowed to install in walls, in floors, in ceilings, and pretty much everywhere. So PVC conduit, it's flexible, it cuts easy, you glue it, you follow all your manufacturer specifications. It's one of the greatest type conduits that they've really ever come out with. It's super versatile, it's very light, and it's also very inexpensive compared to your rigid metals and things like that. Now you definitely have to work with a case-by-case -case basis on all of your areas, and just make sure that you work with your local inspe electrical inspector to make sure it's code compliant. I want you to know that I'm praying for you today, and I just want to see you guys win. And if there's anything that I can do to help you in life or business, you can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.